flip from the in to the outside. So this is the subwoofer enclosure I'm building for the 8 inch standman driver. Uh, some of my subscribers know that I have built a, a transmission line enclosure for that subwoofer uh, um, some time ago and um, yeah I'm not really happy with it um, it was a little bit slow on the base not as fast as I, I would have liked it so really it was quite a bit of uh, lag of the sub which I don't like so, as you can see, this is uh, going to be the bracing side, I'm not going to put much more, but I could use some of these as extra support in the corners. Probably use one of these inside this to make uh, for a good airflow inside the port. And I will get a router. Uh, with, uh, and I want to make a round edge over here, over here, and obviously on the outside of the closure, so it is all the way to there. So, yeah, I, yes, I have decided on the machine, and yeah, I just I don't know en enough when it comes to those uh, router bits. Um, yeah, a lot of people are recommending carbide uh, bits, but I've seen some of them costing like as much as the machine itself, so it's that's not really worth it. And I'm not a professional, I'm not looking for I mean, the best finish in the world, I'm just looking for some fun. And yeah, just some simple round edges on here. If it isn't perfect, you can always sand it down a little bit. So I have to, yeah, to look at those things a little bit more. Uh, maybe c you guys can give a little bit of information. Um, I've, yeah, read a lot of uh, about them, and uh, people are saying that um, I shouldn't uh, really buy those really expensive bits you could, uh, the cheaper ones are good enough I mean you can get um, yeah some of those for mm, a few euros so for like four euros and you have like a pretty good bit which will last long enough for me obviously the really expensive ones which will cost you about 20 euros will obviously be a lot better but that will cost a lot more and I really have to think about it since the machine will cost me around 100 euros so it's not really worth it to spend loads and loads of money on those stupid bits well I don't need them so as you can see I made a little enclosure here this little box which is going to hold the Hypex DS 1.0 dot to uh, play them 120 watts RMS should be enough from what I've seen I mean it's moving that uh, subwoofer like mad so I really don't need much more and it has clean power I mean it's no it's really clean uh, compared to like the amp I was using before uh, yeah obviously the earth on some wiring to do yeah. But I will solve that. Um, yeah, there will be a hole on the other side, so there will be down firing with some feet over here and here. You can here see the L port. It's tuned to 38.5 hertz, which will yeah give me roughly a figure of response down to 25 hertz. So that's pretty damn good for an 8 inch driver. So it will hit um, 105 dB on 25 hertz, something like that. That's pretty good. I've already sanded it the front a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so as you can see, I have like these 45 degree angles on here to make this enclosure a lot stronger. And this is the last piece of the puzzle. The 
top. This isn't glued in yet, so you can see it. This is warm. Yes. So obviously I can get it out, make that nice round um, edge around here, and um, do the same thing here and here, and then I come out it uh, inside the enclosure. So that's really is the next step to do. Um, yeah, obviously. My table saw, I'm really happy with it. Makes this uh, sort of job really easy. Um, this is the enclosure. I hope you guys will like it. Uh, I can't wait to finish this whole thing. But next week, um, actually, actually, at the end of uh, this week, I'll have a lot of work for school. So, I don't really have time to finish this or. So it will be around two weeks later. Sorry for that. Delay. Uh, thanks for watching.